Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ivan Fuyun for AuthorPublisher.com and um, I'm all about dreaming, making dreams happen, helping writers, helping them get published and focusing a lot the last couple of days or uh, weeks on getting bloggers published which is a uh, great, I think a great endeavor. Now, as you may know, this is actually the underdog reality TV show and uh, what I'm trying to do here or what I've tried to do, this actually comes from my previous channel and my previous blog which I basically closed down because I need to focus on just one project at a time. So this show comes from there. Basically what it's all about is me trying to make a million dollars by 2012, 9 November. That's more than a year and a half from now. Very excited about that goal. Um, when I earn dollars, I think it's very much possible. I basically all I have to get is um, let's quickly see I have to make $142,800 in a year so I think that is pretty much very uh, pretty much achievable that's regarding the show the reason I'm starting the show on this blog and um, I haven't shut it down on the other side is because some of you have showed interest in this and uh, want to sort of know what's going on. This is sort of an entrepreneur's journey like Yara's having, but uh, this is more a reality show. I want to just open up my heart. I've got a couple notes written down. I haven't got a script. I haven't prepared anything. So that's how I like to do these things. Well, my business is doing well if you consider certain things. Um, we were chasing in the show, we were chasing the, making the first dollar. And I made my first dollar on Fiverr. And the way I did that is I posted uh, my services in the sidebar and I used a product that I, um, that I had rights to f on Resale Rights Weekly, which is Mark Austin's membership site. I used that product basically sold my first deal and from then on Fiverr isn't a really a big um, isn't a really a big source of business I don't know how it can be unless you're number one featured at the top there are about 3,000 jobs posted on there and the chances that your job gets seen is very slim people don't really go to Fiverr to type in I need a, a comedian doing a sketch about whatever i don't see that happening um i haven't made a lot of money there i did however make my first dollar there and i did a couple deals after that wrote a couple articles for people gave people um titles for articles and that's basically what i've done there i have a couple jobs posted there that i can do and uh but i had no real luck and no real no real business coming in from that um secondly um, I am about to make my the, the second goal that I had was uh, the first hundred dollars now <clears throat> I'm currently working on a on a project I got the project uh, from bidding on fire on uh, freelancer.com I got the project the project is worth a lot more than a hundred dollars so I'm doing that project I'm finishing that up tomorrow I'll get paid around about Monday, Tuesday, and then my second goal has been, and then the goal after that would be to make the first thousand dollars. So that progressively going on. I started um, this business, which is basically author publisher. I started it in August. So it took me four or five months, four months to get to my first dollar made, and it took me another month maybe to get the next hundred dollars what i've realized is that as soon as you start making money everything starts escalating after that and forums and those kind of things uh, the more time you spend there the more known you get the more comment you, the more you comment on um, the more you comment on blogs and get involved with people and guest posts and those kind of things you your name gets known so um definitely building a business and a brand I can see, and this is maybe just my perception that I'm giving, but I can see that um, as the business goes, the more money you'll make. So if you're starting a business or you just started, um, be encouraged because making the first dollar is the hardest. 
after that I believe it's going to steamroll. I can just almost assure you two months to make my first hundred dollars and to make my first thousand, thousand is not even going to take a month. Um, so that's basically what that's concerned. Um, I did, I had a major, 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 major breakthrough um, yesterday or the day before. I proposed a little, a small JV to a huge and very well-known celebrity blogger. All right, and um, I, I pitched that idea to about three of them, and this one guy, he bit, he went for it, and he said, "Listen, I'll give you details later. Uh, in fact, I'll give you the details of the deal after I'm finished with the with with it. Um, it's going to form part of research as well, so I'm very excited about that. I'm going to do a guest post on a very very popular." high traffic blog um, it's going to be a JV um, I'll give you details later but I'm very excited about that the reason I'm doing this video is for this um, let me I'm going to give you an instance when I've been talking a lot about freelancer the last couple months I've been moaning about people bidding one dollar per article I've been moaning about people paying one dollar an article or saying listen I want a 500 word SEO copyscape post article that's researched and it must be original and I'm gonna pay one dollar for it makes me angry but on the other side okay there are people in India and in the Philippines that if they work for a dollar an article all right I want to put it into perspective for you if they work for a dollar an article and let's say they do 30 articles now I know to do 30 articles and work full-time is tough a week I'm talking about in a week um, to do 30 articles a month is not that hard because you can do one a, one a month now if you're in Pakistan all right the minimum wage the minimum wage in 98 was 1500 rupees uh, the minimum wage today for a good hard-working person is about 4,000 all right but the minimum wage is a thousand five hundred rupees which means you can live from that you can eat um, I think that's that so they putting that into perspective the person who works for say one dollar an article all right now today I just gave a job to a person to rewrite a couple articles for me at one dollars an article He's making $18 out of the whole thing. He's going to give it to me in 24 hours. And putting it into perspective, I'm very excited and happy for him. Because when I did the conversions and I looked at everything, this person is going to make up to a month's salary in one day. You know? And he was hungry. He came back to me quickly. He took the offer I didn't offer much because I couldn't offer much you know I, I haven't for, for the specific job that that I gave him is part of a contract that I broke up uh, for myself and I couldn't give him more than what I offered him because I wasn't getting a lot for the articles all right so I gave him a couple articles to rewrite and uh, he's busy doing that as we speak now I'm very excited for him because he'll make up almost a month's salary in one day now I know coming from a American perspective perhaps or even South Africa we think one dollar for me one dollar is seven rand no that's ridiculous I will never write an article I won't even rewrite an article for one dollar okay I'm not paying him one dollar paying him slightly more but still um, we in the freelancing business we have problems and we talk to people that listen there's people that would do that for one dollar if you write an article for one dollar what the, the chances that the quality is superior is very slim but there are people they won't pay more than four to six dollars an article that's real original researched copy skate post you know and that's still a problem for me my rate now is I won't write an article for less than ten dollars 
because I have a full-time job, I'm trying to lift my own quality of my work and also the quality of the work I get in. All right, so that's why I'm doing that. But I'm happy for him. The reason I'm talking about that is because uh, there's been a lot of focus on the unemployment rate in South Africa, which is about 24%. Um, I need to finish. Um, which is about 24%. Now that is an amazing statistic and South Africa is always whining and everybody's toy toying and uh, striking, there's no work. Let me tell you something, South Africans, there's a lot of work out there if you want to work and you can, you can still be very much in high school, stand at six, eight and you can still earn a very good salary per month. I'm freelancing and there's lots of other ways making money on the internet why don't people number one because they're lazy I put that on my Twitter account I didn't get a response but people are lazy they don't want to work secondly people want too much money the problem here in South Africa especially is for instance there's lots of people that don't have work and then there's teachers they work like half a day they work until one all right from seven to one that's i don't know how many the hours that is but for those hours they get paid up from six to eight thousand rand a month okay now there's people that don't have jobs and they would kill to get that now these people that get eight thousand they go on strike they mess up the entire education system screw every single pupil just so they can get between five and eight percent increase immediately and it's happening all over the country Dri truck drivers taxi drivers um, different industries that people work in transport industry and that's a South African mindset that we have today let me give you an example I have this job for 12 articles there was 12 articles that I gave and I promoted on different platforms it's an easy job. I've got the articles. I just need you to rewrite them and make sure they're original. Change the titles. Guy in Pakistan took my job immediately. Obviously, he's hungry. He wants to work and he's going to do it in 24 hours. I had a South African lighty. A lighty is a word for a young boy who's just gone into university or college. And he, get this, he wanted 100 rand Per article to rewrite can you believe that this is ridiculous I know what what's that Ivan in dollars well that's about eleven dollars to rewrite an article that's what he was charging but anyway I didn't rent it enough and uh, this show underdog reality TV is about me being an underdog stacked against the odds I'm in South Africa we just last year got our PayPal PayPal accounts which we could uh, extract into an uh, into a bank account um, our internet connections are very slow it's very difficult for us our mindsets are screwed up so I'm definitely an underdog when it comes to online t online uh, online online business freelancing um, making so uh, there's a lot of things stacked against me but my goal like I said one million dollars one million yeah, one million. I want to be a millionaire in South Africa by the year 2012 and uh, November. So wish me luck. And uh, if you want to get in touch with me, get in touch with me, um, my various platforms. If you're on, on YouTube, you will see uh, lots of links in the description box. There's my RSS feed, my Twitter account. And the, obviously the site URL. Go to the site URL and just leave a comment on any of the of the um, any of the posts. I'll respond to you. I respond to every single comment. And yeah, I also have a comment competition where you can win a prize of up to ninety five dollars um, just for commenting. So um, get involved and uh, check everything that I'm doing. This is a reality show, Underdog Reality TV, on uh, authorpublisher.com. My name is Alvin Fulian, and thank you for watching this video.